today I'm at Lewis Berry Antique and Craft. It's been a really long time since I've been here, so. Mm, right off the bat, candy boxes. Mm, this one's cute, but I don't know. The Easter candy boxes haven't been doing that well. I'm really tempted to get this one, but I don't like that big crease. And part of it's torn on the side. I don't, I don't know. I don't think I can justify that. Oh, it's a good deal, though. I think I'm, I think I'm going to pass. Chocolate cat. I kind of like how unamused it is. And... $5 is a good price, but it's missing its wall hook on the back. And that with the spots of wear, I can't do that. I really try to stay away from reproduction, but ugh, I love these sheep. I know they're repop and they're not original. Um, to be honest, if they were original, they'd probably never make it to my Etsy page because most of the ones I've ever bought are on my vanity. But I think I'm going to stay true to myself and let it go. This is cute. Gotta love a chick planter. Relpo? That's surprising. But $6 is even more surprising. That's a complete steal. Awesome. I'm going to go grab a basket. I like this monkey mug. Cute, but I don't know. I'm really more interested in these German ones. Oh, I don't know. It's kind of unusual. How much is it? Oh, yeah, no, I can't do that. This is the one I'm really interested in, though. It's the three bears. Uh, I already know it's got this huge chip. So I, I really wish I didn't have to, but I'm going to have to pass. Oh. This is hilarious. I usually try to stay away from these seashell sculptures because honestly, they're a tough sell. For $28, it's a no, but if it was a couple bucks, I'd do it anyway. I know, another monkey. I'm so predictable. But 39 is too high for me, especially because he looks like he's been in plastic wrap his whole life and I don't know, even though his hat's pretty great, uh, he's not, no, he doesn't have the humpback. Yeah, he's, he's just not right for me. Well, this just makes me happy. The one in the back's cute, but this one, uh, I normally try to stay away from 1980s, but like, I can't deny her fuzzy little pom-poms. That's adorable. How much is she? Yeah, for $7 and 20% off, I'm gonna take her. Poodles, ornate poodles at that. 22 for the pair. That really doesn't leave much of any room, even with the 10% discount. I'm kinda tempted to do it anyway and just be a little irresponsible. I don't know, I'm gonna come back to it. Cat creamer. It looks check. Um, yeah. I don't know. Twelve fifty. Mm, seems too close, and I'm just not that crazy about it. Even though it's probably an easy sell. Now, this isn't really my style at all, but the texture to it. I mean, it's kind of sugary almost. I don't know, there's something I really, really like about it. I'm, I don't wanna get too out there. It just, oh, it's kinda happy. But 16, I don't know. I, If it was a little bit less, I'd do it, but I just don't think there's enough room for me to go that far out of my wheelhouse. I'm back at these poodles. They say candle holder, question mark. They might be votives, but I usually see them with vanity sets or with the Ronson table lighter inside. 
because I'm kind of unsure about them and they're close, I do have to pass. I love Ohio art and this tray is super cute. It's in relatively good condition too. It's $10, but it doesn't have any more of the set. And I don't know, I just, I kind of feel a little bit of indifference. So I didn't really find too much there today, but it's okay. I'm gonna go down the street to Dover Antique Mall. I usually clean up there. All right, I just got to Dover Antique Mall. I'm pretty excited about this one. See, now this excites me. Look at this pajama bag. It's spectacular. And it's only $15, which is an insane price because it's in near perfect condition. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna get a basket and start a pile. Maybe this is a little weird, but I'm strangely drawn to this jockey hat. It's got some really unique age to it, but $35, I don't know enough about it and it's not my style. I'm gonna let it go. Now these, these are kind of creepy and kind of cute. So they're speaking my language. They're hard plastic, they're kind of funky, and they're going in my basket. I love this Elvis Forever Chalkware Wall Plaque. It says heavy on the tag, but I was like, how heavy can it be, right? So I just tried to move it and I could barely lift it. It's super heavy, but awesome. I'm also really into anything Coney Island related. Uh, this is $20. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the rest of its set. So what would happen is I'd bring it home, mount it on my wall, never to be seen or heard from again. Wow, this is so stinking cute. Um, it's also very unusual because it's the Whitman Candy Company. So I guess it was a candy container. Uh, it's only $20. It's got a little bit of damage, but I have a friend who collects Whitman candy stuff. And if she sees this and knows I didn't ask her if she wanted it, I'd end up in friendship jail. So I got to phone a friend. I really like the lettering on top of this box. Ugh, it's so retro, but I don't know, $10, it's 10% off. I just really don't think it leaves enough room, though I am kind of tempted. What's the inside? It smells very used. I'm unfortunately gonna have to let this one go. <gasps> oh my gosh, you never see these and it's $5. That's such a bargain. Uh, these usually sell anywhere from like $25 to $35. I'm definitely gonna take it. I feel like every time you see these, they're either in a locked case or completely busted up. I never knew this one was Knickerbocker. That's really cool. Um, but I'm pretty sure $12 is retail. I'm having a serious moment. Whoa. 35. Scary rabbit. It's not scary. It's spectacular. I really wish I could justify this, but I think you might have a little too much damage to go that high for resale. Oh, I kind of want it for myself, but I gotta stay focused. You can never buy too many chalkware fish. I've never seen the black and gold. That's kind of cool. $8 and it's got the hook. That's a serious steal. I'm gonna take this. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go ahead and get this for my friend. I'm pretty sure she's gonna be pretty pumped up about it. Back to where I left off. This is great. It's usually not something I would pick up, but it's so unusual that I'm really tempted, but I know myself well enough to know I'd break that shipping for sure. I'm really tempted by this chrome creamer and sugar set. It's $18. Um, it is marked. I don't know. I, 
really like it. It's super retro, but it might be a little too high for resale. <laughs> this one's super funny. Oh, he's got a little nick on his ear, but... $12 is honestly probably what I'd sell him for. So I'm just gonna leave him here. Ooh, is this a single or a double? Ugh, it's a single. I usually grab the ones that are divided and have the salt and pepper on each side. This is pretty sweet. Ugh, I have like a thing for the metal enamel painted flowers. It's only $6 and it's pretty unique. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this for sure. Ah, a roly-poly clown. He's got a super great face. Uh, he's got a little wear, actually. I don't know what's going on there. He's only $3 though. I don't know. He's definitely got a weird energy. It might seem crazy that I'm thinking about leaving this here for only $3, but the more I look at it, the more it looks like something strange happened to him. And honestly, he's giving me a really weird vibe. One of my favorite sets to pick up. $17? Oh, those ones are $17. These ones are 53 and 61. That's pretty wild. That's more than they sell for online. She's great. $3? What? It doesn't have its stopper. Um, uh, I guess it's kind of banged up on the backside and I'm not trying to get stuck with her. I see a lot of happy bunnies, but this bone china chick with the spaghetti trim is really what I'm into. It's $7 and they usually sell for about 20. Oh, and this, gosh, this booth has some great stuff. This donkey cigarette holder is pretty unique. Um, I don't know though, for $20, I'm not sure how much room that leaves after fees. There's something pretty happy about this hobbyist piece, but I don't know, $7. It looks on the newer side. I'm gonna leave it. I like this guy's eyes. It's $5. It's Snapco and it's got polka dots. So I kind of feel like I have to take this. Well, there's something funny about this guy for sure. $8.50. Ugh, I don't know. I'm tempted just because he looks like he's kind of going through something or trying to get to the other side of what he just went through, but I'm gonna pass. And I normally pick up these, but 950 is pretty close to what I get for it. And I just got one the other day. I think I'm gonna go check out. <laughs>